<laughs> when I was in graduate school, I, um, I used to read manuscripts for a publisher. And then one day they said, here, why don't you edit a book on feminist issues? So, uh, so I edited a book called Being a Jewish Feminist. And then I gave some talks. And I was once at Oberlin College. And there were some Jewish students at the Hillel who had written a marvelous story about um, putting a crust of bread on the Seder plate. All right, I'll tell you, this is their story, which is a great story. They said, One, once upon a time in the future, the feminist Rebbe was sitting at her table at Passover, <laughs> surrounded by her disciples, and they were telling the story of Passover. And then one of them said, Rebbe, tell us, why is there a crust of bread on the Seder plate? And the feminist Rebbe sighed and closed her eyes, and she said, Many generations ago, there was a family of women getting ready for Passover. They were cooking and cleaning and singing and dancing, the grandmothers, the mothers, the aunts, the cousins. And the youngest of them, named Pua, who was 15, said, I have a question. I am going to go and ask the rabbi. So she goes to ask the rabbi of the town, who was a, the Fabrenta rabbi, the fiery, burningly orthodox, strict, strict. And you know, everybody loves chumras right before Passover, even as strict as possible. And, he, and she comes to him and she says, Rabbi, I have a question. And he's delighted because a question on the eve of Passover usually means a crumb dropped into the pot of chicken soup. And then he can tell you, <laughs> you have to throw everything away. The soup, the pot, the whole kitchen, start all over again. So he's delighted and he says, ask my daughter, ask. So she says, Rabbi, what place is there for a lesbian in Judaism? <laughs> and the rabbi jumps up and turns beet red and grabs her by the shoulders and starts shaking her, forgetting that he shouldn't touch a woman. <laughs> and he says, there's as much place for a lesbian in Judaism as there is for a crust of bread on the Seder. So that was their story in Oberlin. I thought it was fantastic. But the problem for me was a crust of bread means it's no longer Pesach. You know, it's over. And in addition, it's transgressive. And I didn't think being a lesbian is transgressive. So, but I thought it was a nice idea to do something like that. So I started putting an orange on the Seder plate. And usually that time of year in New York is a tangerine. So the, you know, they're little segments and they have a lot of seeds. And at some point, we have a very traditional, very long Seder. Everything in Hebrew, we can have some English also, with a lot of commentaries and discussion. It goes on for hours and hours. I love it. But people get hungry. So at a certain point, we took the orange, passed it around. They made the prayer over fruit. They took a segment and ate their segment in solidarity with all gay and lesbian Jews. And I added widows and orphans and people who are marginalized in the Jewish community, sometimes people who are converts or who have been adopted. And we eat the segment, yeah, because you know an orange has segments, but they're, they make a hole. And we spit out the seeds of the homophobia. <laughs> and, and so I thought it was, was great. And that's how you started. And that's how it started. Then yeah. I started, yeah. So, okay. 